Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is maximize distance to closest person. Okay. So the post statement goes like this that you're given an array representing a row of seats where seats of I is equal to one, which represents a person sitting in the ith seat. So if it is I equal to one, which means that there's a person sitting there. I will tell you with an example also. And if seats of I equal to zero, which represents that the ith seat is empty. This is a zeros indexed error. Now there is at least one empty seat present, which is according to the problem statement and at least one person also sitting. Now Alex wants to sit in this complete seating arrangement such that a distance between him and the closest person is maximized. Okay. Return the maximum distance to the closest person. Okay. So take an, take an example of this that you are given this as an array. Now what this represents is that this is a seat arrangement like this. So there are six positions. The first position or zeroth index is as you can see it is filled. I think that this is different. So okay so the first position is filled as you can see here and this person fourth position is filled, sixth position is filled and this is filled. Now if Alex sit here and distance between the closest person one person on the left that is two distance away one person on the right that is two distance away so minimum both of them is equal to two and if alex sit here if alex sit anywhere else then this distance will be minimum like this will be decreased let's take an example let's say that alex sit here then the distance between the closest person is one that is there is one person here okay similarly you just have to find out that what is the most optimal position Alex will sit such that the distance is maximized to the closest person on either side. Okay, that's all problem set. Now, it's pretty much simple. You have to first understand that what is the gap between two consecutive person. Okay, because at that position only Alex have to sit and it is all very optimal to sit in the very middle. Try to sit at the very middle as possible because in that scenario only you will try to maximize the distance between the two closest person. Okay. So that's the idea that you have to use here as well. Let's say that you have an array like this. I just draw it like some seats here. Now let's say that there is one person sit sitting here. Okay. And one person sitting here. In that scenario, there are three seats between. So obviously you will be sitting in the middle here so distance between this person this person is equal to 2 now if there are let's say four seats between them two, two consecutive persons then you can either sit here or you can sit here any one of them is fine so if the distance between them the two consecutive persons is even then you have to sit anywhere like this or this if it is odd you can sit in the very middle Okay. That is one of the very simple observations you can get out because that will actually maximize your distance from the two closest persons. And then you have to find out for every two consecutive person, try to find out the gap. So for that, what you can do is that you will iterate over this whole array from left to right and store what is the last person you can see and what is the current person. So let's say I have seen the last person at here and the current person is here. So I will store this index and this index and I will directly find out the number of people between them and I can actually just use that I will sit in the very be between of these two person. What is the distance I will be uh, between the two closest person and I want to maximize it over all the distance possible. Okay, that's all the logic that you have to use. There's just one or two edge cases that you have to understand that let's say in the same example, so these are the seats. Let's say, there are, let's say there are four seats and one person is sitting on the, let's say very right. There is no person here. I have to find out a between two consecutive persons but because if there is only one person, then you will always try to sit on the very left possible because that is a distance. So it can also happen that in the array that you have, the first person appears after some seat. So let's say the first person appear here, next person let's say appear here. And then there's still more seats on the right hand side. So I will find out a distribution to consecutive person that is fine. This is I will calculate. Okay. But there is some more seats on the left hand side and on the right hand side that you have to individually take care of. What you can do is that initially you will start your position that what is the last person I've seen is minus one index because this is index is 0, 1, 2 and so on. So you will initialize it with minus one. 
which means that you have seen one person imaginary person on the very left side so that you will find out the distance between the very first seat and the imaginary person so that this is the distance between the leftmost part and similarly for the rightmost part you will insert one imaginary person at the very end okay that person so that you will find out that the distance between this person and the last person you can actually just find out okay so that is how you can just do it tweak the code a little bit to find out the very edge cases also you can handle it individually also but uh, in the same code you can actually do that that's all the logic that you have to solve i actually require to solve this particular problem now let's move on to the code part to understand it more clearly so what we have done is that this is the seats array that is this now what we have done is that we have pushed a person like you can say explicitly just push a person for the case on the right hand side as one in the very end of the seats array now we have the answer like what is the maximum distance between the two clue closest person i can see it up to this is the last what is the last index i have seen a person at i have initialized it at minus one now i'll do a for loop how this for loop will work now there are two edge cases the first edge case is that if so i will only do this calculation if the ith person i am on is one because then only i know that this is one of the person and the last person i've seen is stored at this last of five so that i will know that what are the two persons i'm talking about so if the current seat ith element is one which means that i have to do some calculation i will find out the distance between the current person and the last person that is i minus last minus one that will help me to find out the length between like the number of empty seats between the last person and the current person okay now what i'll do is that i have to first understand that this length the number of empty seats is this the edge case the edge case possible is that is this the very first segment okay so for the very first segment how i can find out if the last is equal to minus one if the last is not changed if the last is minus one which means that the current ith element i have gone to is the very first which means that this is the very first so this is for all the seats on the left hand side or if all the seats on the right hand side which means that if i is equal to the very last ith element that i have seen in that scenario in both of these scenarios i mean that i have seen all the elements empty spaces between them so what i'll do is i will just directly take whatever is the length so what i mean by this is let's say if there are let's say four seats and the fifth person is here i find out that this is the last minus one index i'll start from let's say this is this is some index so i will always try to sit at the very end i will not try to sit in the middle if there are two consecutive people let's say in this scenario then i will try to sit in the very middle but if there are but if there is no person at the very end then i will try to sit on the very extreme end okay that's the overall thing that then the distance between the closest person and me is the distance between this the complete length okay and if it is not the edge case if there are two consecutive person then what i'll do is then i will find out the complete length that we have divided by 2 i have plus 1 length plus 1 divided by 2 why i have done this because there are two cases if there is it's even or odd okay so if it is even let's say 3 so, I, so what i'll do is that it will plus 1 like if it is odd plus 1 divided by 2 so that i will know that i will have two distance from the left element or the right element like whatever element i have like uh, the closest person this is the maximum distance between the closest person and i want to maximize this over all the possible solutions that i know so this is the answer that is zero that initially i know that i want to maximize this one. so initially i started with zero and there are two cases on the edge cases or on the consecutive person i want to maximize it and whenever i find out this is the ith person for the next person i have to store this last equal to i what it eventually means is that now i've seen i at this current ith index okay so whenever i see a next one i have to compare it with this last of i so that I have to just store the previous i, the previous one where I've seen the person. Okay, that's the overall idea. And the end, this is the complete answer. Like, what is the maximum distance between two consecutive persons? Okay, the closest persons. Uh, and you want to let's sit it in between. So that's the logic that you have to use to solve this particular problem out. The multiple approaches you can do to solve this particular problem as well. But that's the thing I have understood and I have used to solve this particular problem out. So that's all the logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box for this particular problem. I will see you in the next one. Take coding and bye.